In this revision video, we have a geometric series and convergence, and we are going to work through three questions. In our first question, we are given if x plus 1, x minus 1, and 2x minus 5 are the first three terms of a geometric series, calculate the value of x. So we are given x plus 1, x minus 1, and 2x minus 5. And this is the first three terms of a geometric series. What we know is that a geometric series will have a constant ratio. So that means that term 3 divided by term 2 would be equal to term 2 divided by term 1. So that will be 2x minus 5 over x minus 1 is equal to x minus 1 divided by x plus 1. Now to remove the fraction, I'll cross multiply. So it will be x minus 1 times x minus 1 on the right and 2x minus 5 multiplied with x plus 1 on the left. So if I multiply out, I have 2x squared minus 5x plus 2x minus 5 is equals to x squared minus 2x plus 1. And if I rewrite this in standard form, I have 2x squared minus x squared, which is x squared, minus 5x plus 2x minus 2x, which will become plus 2x, that is minus x, and minus 5 minus 1, which is minus 6. And now because it's in standard form, we can factorize. So it'll be x minus 3 and x plus 2. Therefore, x is equals to 3 and x is equals to negative 2. The second question is, for which value of x will the series converge? So what I know is that x plus 1, x minus 1, and 2x minus 5 is the pattern. And when a series converges, the ratio between terms would be between negative 1 and 1. So let's use x equals to 3. Then term 1 will be equals to 3 plus 1, which is 4. And term 2 would be equals to 3 minus 1, which is equals to 2. Now I have enough information to find the ratio, which is term 2 divided by term 1. So it's 2 over 4, or I can say a ratio of a, of a half. Then for x equals to negative 2, I have the first term equals to negative 2 plus 1, which is equals to negative 1. And the second term as negative 2 minus 1 which is equals to negative 3. So now the ratio is negative 3 over negative 1, which is equals to 3. And we can see from these two that the ratio on the left, where x was equals to 3, satisfies the restriction of convergence, meaning the ratio is between negative 1 and 1. Therefore, the series will converge for x equal to and the third question is, find the sum to infinity if x is equal to 3. So the sum to infinity is equals to a over 1 minus r. When x is equals to 3, the a value, which is the first term, is equals to 4. And we already know the ratio, which is a half. Therefore, the sum to infinity is equal to 8 when x is equal to 3.